Psalms 149. This is a constant thing we've been going through, finishing up the book of Psalms. Praise ye the Lord. You think we get the point by now? Sing unto the Lord a new song. The song of your own heart. The, the, most of the hymnals that we sing are a personal testimony. Given that credit. And there are wonderful stories and poems of, people, of things that have happened in people's life. But what about your song? What about your own personal words that you have of God for God alone? But what God is giving you the victory. And his praises in the congregation of the saints. So a new song that you're to have of yourself is to be in the congregation of the living people of God. Serving God, praising God. There should be some people in the church why we got the hymnals. Somebody wrote a poem about the Lord and they, they gave it to somebody and, and somebody who knew knows how to read music or how to do music put it to words. When you open up your hymnal and you're about to sing, there's a title of the hymnal. And then up just below just above where that music bars or whatever you want to call them. I don't know nothing about music. There's a name on each side. Now sometimes the name is the same name. Because the person wrote the music and wrote the words. And then sometimes you'll see two different names. Somebody wrote it as a poem and someone came along and found the poem and they put it to music. And when you find a hymn I can never remember her name, the, the blind girl. Look at her name. Always. I always want to think of Amazing Grace, but I know she didn't write that. It was, uh, you'll find that her name is there. But you'll always see another name attached to it. She wrote poems. Somebody came along and wrote the words. If the Lord were tarry and they were go amongst your, your stuff, would they find poems? Would they find something you written down that, hey, you know what? I want to put that to music. Or will they just find to-do lists, wish lists, grocery lists, dear diary, ate, drank, had a good day. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. God made Israel. God made man. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Capital K. The Lord Jesus Christ. Zechariah 9.9. 9, Matthew 21.5. And that's going to happen in the millennium. America doesn't want a king, but God says king. And if America don't want a king, what about the king of kings? Let them praise his name in dance. Now that's not get naked and sexual innuations. That is just praising the Lord from the soul and spirit of no flesh. Dance shows up 26 times in your Bible. You'll find dance where the women dance together. It wasn't man and women together. David danced and leaped before the Lord. That shows you what kind of dancing it was. But we won't get into that. But there's a dance of the Lord. As long as it's not the flesh doing the dance. You're not doing it for a show. You're not doing it to be seen. You are doing it to praise God and praise God alone. 
See, it says praise ye the Lord. It doesn't say praise ye the flesh. Let them sing praises unto him, God, with the, trim, the timbrel and the harp. Musical instruments. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. God enjoys people who are praising him and giving him the credit and giving him the joy and the praise. That pleasures God. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. So, sing it unto the Lord anytime, all the time, anywhere. And the beds also in the Old Testament, you find it, it's the place of eating. It's the relying couches. During the meal, at sleep. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth. You ought to be praising God with your mouth and no one else. And a two-edged sword in their hand. Ooh. What is that? Oh, according to Hebrews 4.12, it's the word of God. Revelation 1.16. You better make sure you have the right Bible in your hand when you're praising God. To execute vengeance upon the heathen and the punishments upon the people. The sword. Re Romans chapter 13. You are uh, to apply the sword to those who will not obey. And the Bible tells you what to do with such people. The Bible says that a murderer shall be put to death. Adulterer and adulteress shall be put to death. There are certain limitations that you are put when it comes to your neighbor. And if you violate those limitations called trespasses, there were fines in judgments and sentences to bind their kings with chains so even I mean even if a ruler does wrong he is to be sentenced and their nobles with fetters of iron now that fetters of iron you see in the New Testament those are what Christians are put into to execute upon them the judgment written this honor have all his saints. Praise you the Lord. Now this is a millennial passage. We saints of the Lord that have a right to the millennial reign with Jesus Christ. We're going to be doing judgment. And executing the word. To those who will not obey. And at the great white throne judgment the Bible says we'll be judging angels. And to all that is the praise of God. There is no praise of God when man rebels and is in crime. God is not praising America for her correctional system. We're doing quite opposite. Oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder Consider all the worlds thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art. How great thou art, the 
then sings my soul, my Savior God to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. And when I think that God His Son not sparing sent Him to die, I scarce can take it in That on the cross My burden gladly bearing He bled and died To take away my sin Then sings my soul My Savior God to Thee How great Thou art How great Thou art then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. When Christ shall come with shout of acclamation and take me home, what joy shall fill my heart. Then I shall bow in humble adoration And there proclaim, my God, how great Thou art Then sings my soul, my Savior God to Thee How great Thou art, how great Thou art Then sings my soul